Hello YouTube, I'm Johan Rodrik and uh, today I'm making another video update of uh, my painting collection that uh, of my own paintings that I have uh, painted over the course of uh, years and uh, here is a set I uh, had in my uh, in my storage facility and uh, today I uh, took it out and uh, and uh, sorted. Uh, I'm preparing to go to an art show uh, pretty soon and I'm uh, about to exhibit some of my paintings so I uh, checked what I have in uh, in my storage and uh, the first ones, uh, uh, first uh, three, well I have a little more of them in my collection in the over there in the back uh, of uh, my uh, 2013 uh, tall painting uh, series uh, that I made a series of them uh, on, on boards uh, like this uh, one of uh, my pin-up series uh, and on the links below uh, the, the video in the description there are also some uh, links uh, to where my uh, paintings are on on pages and uh, here these uh, these paintings uh, in uh, this uh, tall format I started doing in uh, 2009 uh, the first painting uh, was made uh, like this uh, then uh, I had a little a little bit uh, different uh, different colorism as I'm using at the moment, but uh, uh, now I I use uh, more like uh, positive colors and uh, very hot colors, and uh, I do warm uh, artworks, and uh, I uh, everybody feels inspired when they uh, see my works, and uh, everybody also feels uh, energized, and uh, I take it as a great compliment that I have. Uh, executed properly why I uh, painted those paintings I I made uh, them made my paintings specifically uh, to um, to bring uh, positive moments uh, into everyday life and uh, and when people say that uh, they are inspired by my paintings uh, that's uh, one of the uh, greatest compliments that uh, that I have uh, succeeded my uh, my task why I uh, started doing it and uh, here's one of my uh, round painting one of my fairy series uh, it's uh, painted on a round canvas uh, and um, it has been uh, on quite a few uh, on quite a few exhibitions and uh, I lately took it uh, took it home of an exhibition and um, uh, at the moment putting it into my storage for a while and uh, here this one I I made in uh, 2009 but uh, I painted it into this form as it fine here is I painted it until uh, 2011 and it has grown uh, throughout the years uh, into its final shape and I, these tall paintings I made uh, I made in uh, 2013 and uh, these are uh, haven't uh, these are at the moment as they as I painted them uh, they are so they haven't grown through the years um, all my paintings uh, get ready on different pace uh, some uh, I will uh, paint uh, through many years and uh, some uh, I uh, do it in uh, in one go and uh, I, I just hit the canvas and uh, I'll be finished uh, in the end of the day and uh, but some I do one time and other time and again and again and they just grow and grow and grow uh, through uh, through the years and or through the weeks or through the months or something 
as uh, they grow on their own base scent. But this one is a pretty special one. This uh, is actually uh, three dimensional. I have uh, one of my rare, a few of, m that's m one of my lovely Gecko series uh, that I, I made, uh, made uh, a sculpture on uh, my, <laughs> it's actually made of paper, but uh, it feels like wood and uh, it has a wire construction inside. And uh, here I put it that way so it can be more better appreciated how I have uh, made that one. It, it's a wire construction inside and, uh, and uh, paper and uh, glue mixture uh, around, the, uh, around the wire so I modelled it, uh, it out of paper paper mass and uh, it I later painted it over in its uh, final shape this is also made in 2013 as my signature also says underneath and uh, it's a fun project that uh, I figured out and uh, I executed it it has been on a few exhibition also and the next ones are two of my uh, tall paintings that uh, I have made a little bit different than uh, the previous ones and uh, here are more uh, more uh, more characters and uh, subjects on and uh, they are more like a mixed media artwork and uh, these also have grown over over the years into its their current shape as they are and uh, I have exhibited those together and all my tall paintings together and uh, in many different uh, uh, different ways how I have uh, put my artworks together every exhibition I have a different order and different way I put them up and exhibit with and uh, these figures I used actually some drawing applications on it and uh, mostly it's painted it's kind of mixed media artwork and the lighthouse uh, lighthouse motive is uh, coming out of my childhood i was uh, living nearby an harbor and uh, grew up in a little farm there I had uh, animals and uh, some nature around and typical country or ranch life and there was also a harbor nearby and uh, there were uh, three or four lighthouses and when I was small I was uh, walking around there and looking at them and uh, they uh, kind of inspired me and uh, I have always been interested in nautical things and I uh, was reading nautical uh, books and sea travel books and something like that uh, when I was small and uh, that's where the inspiration of a uh, lighthouse uh, comes from. Next one is uh, uh, one of my abstract painting that uh, I have uh, the least uh, I have done uh, the least uh, abstract works. I mostly do some figures or animals or or items or still lifes or landscapes or technical jiggers or I don't know what uh, <laughs> remixes and uh, but uh, sometimes I do uh, only abstracts, so I have only a few of these works, and uh, this is uh, this is one of them. I have also exhibited it quite a few times, and uh, I showed earlier my tall paintings. I put them together with my abstract and one of my surrealist uh, or metaphysical still life. This is actually my oldest uh, work in this uh, setup. I made it in uh, 2006. Uh, well, 
11 years ago at the moment and these uh, tall paintings these are also made uh, in uh, 2013 along the ones I was talking about uh, at the beginning and these are slightly over a meter uh, meter and 20 centimeters high or on average on meter 10 meter 20 or something like that and about 20 centimeters and uh, or less uh, wide and uh, this is uh, one of my first uh, uh, desert landscapes or something uh, as uh, has actually I have used a lot ever since uh, some uh, landscapes like like this in different kind of forms but uh, that's probably the original one uh, le uh, it's one of my uh, surrealist surrealistic artworks done with acrylics this one here is uh, actually not the original painting it's a it's a print of it I have made and uh, it's also uh, available on the link uh, li below the video as as prints but uh, original paintings are currently uh, available only by uh, contacting me uh, my contact information is also uh, underneath the video in the description so if you're interested in uh, some of my artwork and or want to ask any question then I'm a, I am uh, available on the my contact information will be uh, supplied uh, below the video now uh, one of my most favorite subject horse painting well it's not actually my most favorite I my favorite subjects are uh, I switch them out time to time Sometimes I'm painting dogs, sometimes I'm painting figures, then horses, animals, landscapes, I always switch them. And uh, I don't have a constant favorite. It's one of my favorite subjects. I sometimes work on the stable and uh, and uh, chigger around with uh, on countryside and <laughs> where to to uh, work around horses and uh, sometimes I I go, I go riding or and uh, do other kind of staple works also and it's kind of also inspired because I grew up in a farm and and uh, I still like to work with on countryside uh, and to work with uh, different kind of animals and uh, especially horses when I see uh, some horses uh, at the roadside, I usually go uh, go looking at them and take a closer look, and uh, sometimes visit the stable and uh, ask the, uh, ask uh, some some ask uh, and uh, get introduced and and uh, find out who are keeping the horses there and get friends with them and so on. Usually I, I uh, jump off the car and and uh, go get uh, get hands on with uh, horses <laughs> in nearby the street and found many friends like this. And uh, the last one, uh, last one for today, I uh, put it uh, around the corner. I think I got a nasty glare here. I gotta get oh much better. And uh, one of my painting uh, with a silhouette shaped uh, window painting, like I see through the silhouettes into a railway station. And um, that's uh, done in 2009. One of my exhibition pieces, I, I made it uh, for 2009 exhibition. I uh, executed one of my yeah, pretty big exhibition. I had uh, over over 50 paintings uh, up there and uh, a few drawings also. 
and uh, this uh, railway uh, railroad and locomotive inspiration also comes from my childhood. I was uh, enjoying uh, trains and uh, uh, and uh, railroad business around uh, my uh, my near my home. There was a harbor, and uh, there also was a giant uh, junction of uh, railroads and uh, many many lanes of. Uh, rails down there and many trains going back and forth uh, every day hundreds of times usually or I don't know how many times but uh, constantly moving back and forth uh, uh, transporting uh, oil and uh, coal and uh, whatever uh, logs and uh, uh, it was uh, well on on to the ships and back and um, a lot of merchandise went uh, went through there. It was a quite big harbor, and and uh, that uh, still is inspiring me. If I happen to uh, see a train uh, going somewhere, I uh, usually take a uh, take a look and uh, enjoy the train and appreciate the, uh, heavy machinery like this. And uh, and uh, I still uh, enjoy going. Uh, out for walking and uh, walk beside the railroad and enjoy the railroad and and uh, heavy machinery in harbors and uh, where I usually happen to walk and uh, that's how I gather inspiration I I don't know where the silhouette shape uh, window inspiration came from but uh, I started making uh, silhouette shape paintings when I wanted some variety of my uh, rectangular canvases like this one and uh, maybe uh, I put the silhouette shape painting on a wall and figured that it may look it looks like a window to another room and maybe like that but or something and so I decided to start painting them in different form like uh, like this on canvas also and uh, maybe th that's about how I I came up with it and uh, I put some silhouette shape paintings also in between of my rectangular paintings and to get the uh, exhibitions uh, more interesting and uh, more variety into my artworks and uh, that's uh, the last painting for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you and see you next time.